Grady Sizemore, without injuries, could have been one of the best baseball players to ever play the game. Grady Sizemore was born August 2nd, 1982. He is younger than Albert Pujols of the Angels, Rich Hill of the Twins, Nelson Cruz of the Twins, Yadier Molina of the Cardinals, just to name a few. As you may have guessed, Grady Sizemore is no longer playing Major League Baseball. He retired after his age 32 season. Today's episode will get into depth on Grady Sizemore's abbreviated but fantastic career when he stayed healthy. Grady Sizemore graduated from Cascade High School in Everett, Washington in the year 2000. He was a football, basketball, and baseball player and eventually became committed to playing football and baseball for the University of Washington. By the time he graduated from high school, Sizemore was the Cascade's all-time leader in rushing yards with 3,081. I'm not a fan of football, so I have no idea if that's good or not, but we'll assume it is if it's worth mentioning in biographies of Grady Sizemore. He also was a very good student with a 3.85 GPA. The Montreal Expos, who aren't even around anymore, selected Sizemore in the third round of the 2000 Major League Baseball draft. The team offered him a $2 million signing bonus to lure him away from going to college and Sizemore agreed to sign. Around two years later, on June 27th of 2002, the Expos made a blockbuster deal with the Cleveland Indians. The Expos traded away Grady Sizemore, as well as Cliff Lee, Brandon Phillips, and Lee Stevens to the Cleveland Indians in exchange for the greatest player of all time, Bartolo Colon and Tim Drew. To say the Indians got a great deal in that trade is an understatement. While Brandon Phillips was traded away from the Indians before he could make an impact, and Lee Stevens was on the tail end of his career, the Indians still got incredible value in future stars Cliff Lee and Grady Sizemore. Cliff Lee would go on to win the ERA title, a Cy Young, and make the All-Star team four times and we will discuss what Sizemore contributed to the team later on. Sizemore made his Major League debut on July 21st, 2004. He didn't have the greatest of debuts going 0 for 3 against the Chicago White Sox, but to be fair, he had to go up against Freddy Garcia, who at the time in 2004 was a force to be reckoned with. He finished the rest of his rookie year with a 246 average, 4 home runs, and 26 RBIs in 43 games played. Sizemore played his first full season in the major leagues in 2005, his sophomore season. He quickly established himself as a future star in the making, playing in center field. He was named the leadoff hitter of the Indians' lineup. The original plan was to start the season with Sizemore in AAA, but Juan Gonzalez's injury in the first game of the season secured his spot in the major leagues. He joined Roberto Alomar as the only player in franchise history to record 20 doubles, 10 triples, 20 home runs, and 20 stolen bases in the same season. Sizemore's best month came in June when he hit 377 with a 40 for 106 clip with four home runs and 16 RBIs in 25 games. He finished the season batting 289 with 22 home runs, 81 RBIs, and 22 stolen bases. Before the start of the 2006 season, Sizemore signed a six-year contract with the Indians worth $23.45 million with a club option for 2012. In 2006, Sizemore was selected to his first All-Star game as a reserve outfielder. Overall that season, Sizemore played in all 162 games and batted 290 with 28 home runs, 76 RBIs, and a 907 OPS. His 53 doubles and 134 runs scored led the majors. In addition, Grady Sizemore became the second player in Major League history to have at least 50 doubles, 10 triples, 25 home runs, and 20 stolen bases in a single season. The first to do it was Chuck Klein in 1932. Sizemore opened 2007 by hitting four home runs in his first six games. He hit a three-run inside the park home run on April 27th. The May 14 issue of Sports Illustrated magazine featured Sizemore on the cover. In the cover article, Indians' general manager, Mark Shapiro, calls Grady Sizemore, without a doubt, one of the greatest players of our generation. On July 1st, 
he was named to his second All-Star team. In 2007, he had 24 home runs and had 33 stolen bases in 43 attempts. He was one of six batters in the AL to have at least 20 home runs and 20 stolen bases, alongside Alex Rodriguez, Gary Sheffield, Ian Kinsler, BJ Upton, and Curtis Granderson. On November 6, it was announced that Sizemore had earned his first gold glove after he posted a 995 fielding percentage with only two errors and displaying his reputation for great range in center field and acrobatic catches. Sizemore's streak of 382 consecutive games played ended on April 27 in 2008 due to a sprained ankle sustained the day before. On July 2nd, Sizemore hit his 20th home run and stole his 20th base, marking his fourth straight 2020 year. He was the only AL hitter to hit at least 20 home runs and to steal at least 20 bases each year during 2005 to 2008. He was named to the American League All-Star team for the third consecutive year and participated in the 2008 Home Run Derby where he hit six home runs but did not advance to the second round. Sizemore participated in the 08 All-Star game and played 11 innings as the game extended into the 15th inning. The 2008 All-Star game was the longest in history and is tied with the 1967 All-Star Game for the most innings ever for an All-Star Game with 15. On August 21st, Sizemore hit his 29th home run of the season against the Kansas City Royals, setting a new career high. On August 25th, Sizemore hit his 30th and 31st home runs against Armando Galarraga of the Detroit Tigers, becoming the 32nd member of the 30-30 club. For his performance in 2008, Sizemore was awarded his second consecutive gold glove, his 995 fielding percentage was second among all AL center fielders. He was also awarded his first Silver Slugger award. Sizemore committed to play in the 2009 World Baseball Classic, but pulled out after injuring his left groin early in spring training. This was the beginning of the end for Grady Sizemore and certainly put a stop to his dominance in the majors that he had from 2005 to 2008. One positive from the 2009 season was that on April 16th, Sizemore hit the first Grand Slam home run at the new Yankee Stadium off New York reliever Damaso Marte. It was his third career Grand Slam, two more than Derek Jeter had in his whole career. You're welcome, Yankees fans. On September 9th, after struggling through a subpar season, Grady opted to have surgery on his left elbow, which had been bothering him since spring training. Having the surgery performed one month before season's end allowed for more healing time and allowed him to prepare for the following season. Cleveland was already eliminated from playoff contention by the time of his decision. One week after the elbow surgery, he also had to have surgery on his lower abdomen to repair a hernia that was related to the groin injury which forced him to sit out of the World Baseball Classic, thus ending his 2009 season one month before the final game. Returning from the pair of surgeries he had at the end of the previous season, in 2010, Sizemore's season ended after microfracture surgery was performed on his left knee. He only played 33 games that year. After his microfracture surgery, Sizemore returned to the Indians after rehabilitating with AAA Columbus Clippers on April 17, 2011. In his first game back, Sizemore went 2 for 4 with a double and a home run. The Indians won the game 4 to 2. Sizemore returned to the disabled list in May with a right knee contusion after sliding into a base. In mid-July, Sizemore was again placed on the disabled list following another injury to his right knee. Shortly afterwards, he had a second sports hernia surgery expected to sideline him into September. Through 2011, he had the third best career fielding percentage of all active Major League outfielders with a 9.935 behind Shane Victorino and Roy Dusa Ryan Braun. The Indians declined Sizemore's 2012 contract option. After meeting with both the Boston Red Sox and Seattle Mariners during the offseason, Sizemore re-signed with Cleveland, signing a one-year, $5 million contract. Sizemore underwent back surgery during spring training and began the season on the 60-day injured list. A series of setbacks in his recovery from back and knee surgeries prevented him from appearing in any games during the season. After a previous arthroscopic procedure in 2011 was unsuccessful in healing his ailing knee. Grady Sizemore remained a free agent through the 2013 MLB season. According to his agent, Joe Urban, Sizemore did not want to commit to a team until he was ready to play again. On January 22, 2014, Sizemore signed with the Boston Red Sox. The contract was for one year with a base salary of $750,000, 
with incentives that could increase the total up to $6 million. On March 28th, Sizemore was named the team starting center fielder for the season opener after beating out the present-day Red Sox center fielder Jackie Bradley Jr. in spring training. On opening day against the Baltimore Orioles, he hit a solo shot just over the right field scoreboard. He also hit a three-run home run against former teammate CeCe Sabathia in the game versus the New York Yankees on April 11th. On June 17th, Sizemore was designated for assignment to make room for top prospect Garen Ciccini. The next day on June 18th, the Red Sox officially released Grady Sizemore. For his brief time in Boston, Sizemore made $1.25 million. On June 24th, 2014, Sizemore signed a minor league deal with the Philadelphia Phillies. On July 11th, Sizemore was recalled from Lehigh Valley in order to join the Phillies' rotation of outfielders. On July 25th, Sizemore collected his 1,000th career hit in a game against the Arizona Diamondbacks. After a successful start, Phillies general manager Ruben Amaro Jr. suggested Sizemore could be part of the Phillies' longer-term plans if his success continued. He was signed to a one-year contract for the 2015 season on October 23rd. He collected four hits in one game against the Diamondbacks on May 16, 2015. Overall, Sizemore struggled to produce and was designated for assignment by the Phillies on May 29, 2015. He was officially released on June 1st of 2015. Just as our previous baseball headliner on the channel, Wade Boggs, Grady Sizemore's last stop on his Major League Baseball journey brought him to Tampa Bay. On June 15th of 2015, Sizemore signed a minor league deal with the Tampa Bay Rays. He played in only 58 games that year and hit 257 with a 746 OPS, his best mark since 2009. He became a free agent at the end of the 2015 season and did not play in 2016 at all. Grady Sizemore never officially retired but stopped playing professional baseball altogether after the 2015 season. The Indians before spring training in 2017 hired Sizemore as an advisor to the Indians Player Development Department. What a name. There is not a lot of information on Grady Sizemore besides the basic biography of his baseball playing career. While Grady Sizemore might not have had a lengthy and Hall of Fame career, he always had the ladies following. Anyways, back to the point. Grady Sizemore had an incredible four-year stretch from 2005 to 2008. He could have had a Hall of Fame career had he continued that stretch. It's fun to speculate on whether Grady Sizemore should have been a Hall of Famer given a full career, because if he had played a full career, we could be seeing him man down center field, still for the Cleveland Indians assuming he had stayed, and leading Francisco Lindor and the Cleveland Indians to a World Series. Who knows, maybe the 2016 World Series would have turned out differently. Let's go over the stats and awards that he accomplished in such a short amount of time. He was a two-time Gold Glove winner, Silver Slugger winner, three-time 12th or better finish in the MVP voting, and during his 2005 to 2008 stretch, he trailed only Alex Rodriguez in total runs scored. And he only trailed Alex Rodriguez, Albert Pujols, and Chase Utley in F war. His career stats consisted of a 27.7 war, 1,098 hits, 150 home runs, a 265 career batting average, 660 runs, 518 runs driven in, 143 stolen bases, and 806 OPS. During that four-year stretch from 2005 to 2008, Grady Sizemore averaged 27 home runs, 81 RBIs, and an 868 OPS. What do you guys think? Do you think Grady Sizemore would have been a Hall of Famer had injuries not struck him at such an early age? Let me know in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give me suggestions in the comments for future players that we can talk about on the channel. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you are new. We'll see you guys in the next video. Later.